Hey fashionistas, welcome back to Fortizo Fashion Academy. My name is Thelma and on this channel I share fashion tutorial, pattern drafting and ways you can grow your fashion business online, especially on Instagram. And today I want to show you how to make this beautiful trending Ubu dress. So if you're interested in this tutorial, please do well to watch to the end. But before we dive into today's video, just make sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so you don't miss out in any of my upcoming videos. So let's just talk about a few details we'll be needing for the dress. So I'm using two yards of fabric for the short part uh, for the short type of this dress so if you are a size 8 2 yards will be enough or if you are medium like a size 12 or large size 14 3 yards should be enough for you for the short type of the dress so the first thing we want to do is to turn our fabric or fold our fabric into four equal halves so the to fold your fabric into four the first thing you need to do is fold it into two like so and then fold again like what i'm doing here so this is how to fold your fabrics into four. So this is how to fold your fabrics into four. Also, I'll be using this ashoke for the front part of the dress. So just like you can use any fabric of your choice. Like just get creative with it. Any fabric of your choice will be so fine. So for me, I'm using this ashoke for the front part of this dress so the first thing is to take your neck measurement so I'm working with a neck width of three inches and a depth of one and a half inch remember this is folded this is into four fold so that means I'm cutting both the front and the back together and when I'm doing so I have to work with the back measurement first when it comes to the neck so if you have seen my kaftan video i'm sure you understand this perfectly well so after going out to draft out the neck measurement we're going to take out our shoulder measurement so the shoulder measurement i'm working with is eight inches so from this shoulder measurement i'm going to mark out where the length for my sleeve now because this is where my dress is ending or this is where the fabric i have is ending with it like eight and a half inches i'm just going to use the whole of it so if you have more fabric depends on what you want right you can go shorter or longer depending on what you want for the sleeve yeah i'm just going to take down one and a half inch for my shoulder slope and i'm going to connect them together So from this uh, shoulder slope, I'm just going to take out 8 inches as my sleeve opening. So from this 8 inches, that is where I'm going to mark out my bust measurement. And the bust measurement I'm working with is 36. So that means you divide 36 or whatever measurement you have, you divide it in 4 places and mark it out. So at this point, I have not added any allowance at all. So here I'm taking from my shoulder to my waist which is 16 inches and from my waist from the shoulder again to my hip line which is 22 inches. Also I'm going to mark out my M or the length of this dress. So I just marked that out though it's not showing in the frame of this camera but that's what I just did there. So now back to the waist I'm going to mark out the waist measurement. That means my waist measurement 28 divided by 4 so which is 7 I marked that out. Also, the hip measurement, whatever you have, you divide it by four and you mark that out as well. So now, like I said before, I've not added any allowances to this dress. So here, I'm just going to go ahead to add the allowance before I go to the hem part or before measuring everything. So you just see where it's in frame of this camera. So here, I'm using three and a half inches as my allowance for this dress. Remember, it's a booboo -boo top, so it's a big top. But at the same time you want to make it look good so here i noticed that i didn't take my three my allowance from my waist measurement it was a mistake but also it's fine since it's a booboo -boo dress it's fine if it were to be a fitted dress of course my measurement would be wrong right now but because it's a booboo -boo dress it's just fine so now i'm just going to connect everything to the m of this dress with a straight line. I'm just going to use a straight line from the hip 
a straight line to connect to the end part of this dress and on the end part i just marked whatever measurement i had on my hip was what i marked on the hemline as well and i just connected from the hip to the hemline with a straight measurement so now on the sleeve part i'm just going to make a curve to meet the bust measurement like so so we can have a good curve at that point from the sleeve to the bust right so i'm just making this curve here so now we are done we're just going to cut out everything so i hope this is really clear enough and um, also you can go and watch my kaftan measurement out my kaftan video rather how to how to measure and sew it how to cut and sew a kaftan dress i'm sure by the time you still see that video everything will be very very familiar you become familiar with this video so at this point i'm just going to take one off remember we cut everything equally both the front and the back so now i took one off so now this is going to be our front measurement and we are going to rework this one so now on this neck part i'm just going from the neck measurement i'm going to measure down eight inches so this eight inches is not constant you can go even up to like you can go down to like 10 inches 11 inches depend on depending on how long you want the length to the length of the neck to be before you had your uh whatever it is you are adding to the front of this boo boo so here i measured eight inches but at the end of the day i would have preferred i went with like 10 inches but here what i have is eight inches and it's fine as well right so in this where i took eight inches i went in by one inch and from that one inch i'm going to connect it to straight to the neckline so this one inch i mark in i'm going to connect from that point straight to the neckline like so so you're going to have this like v curve is there anything like v curve <laughs> So, but it's just like a, a V shape, but not a sharp V. It's just like a four corner kind of V. <laughs> what am I saying? Oh, so this is all we have. We're just going to cut it out, and this is going to be the neck part of this dress. So this is what we have now. It's looking like a V shape and a curve shape at the same time. So, yeah, and we are, what we we need to do next is to join the dresses together shoulder to shoulder right sides facing each other like so so you join the shoulder part of the dress together that's the first thing you need to do right so this is what we have now after joining the shoulder part of the dress so this is what we have now this is how the neckline is looking look at how the back is looking and how the front is looking now at this point let's go ahead to measure our neckline so i'm not going to touch I'll start my measurement from the middle of that neckline i'm just going to take it from one end one edge of this four corner curve that we have like v-shaped four corner curve i'm going to take the measurement look at where i put my tape from one end of it mark round the neckline at the back and back to the front again to the other edge like so i'm not going to the middle part of the neck so whatever you have there, you have to cut whatever it is you are using for the neck of your dress. So now I told you I'll be using this Asho key. So now I had 24 inches, so I'm just going to mark out 4 inches wide of 20 and 24 inches length of this Asho key. So this is 4 inches wide and 24 inches of, uh, with the length. You can just fold it so now you fold and iron it so you can if you are working with a very soft fabric you can just fold it and iron it so you can work with it well so this is what i have i'm just going to give this a press and go over to the dress and fix this in let's do it let's see it let's do it now i'm back to the dress so this is how to attach this so from this end from the first end you are going to attach your actually you are going to attach whatever it is you are using for your neckline you're going to put it like so from one end to the other with the allowance you want to use maybe half an inch so here i'm using half an inch to do this attachment so now this is what we have we're gonna have to sew it in with half an inch from one end to the other so you can see 
so the middle is plain i didn't add anything there so now i'm just going to fold this in like so and the next one on top of it like this so you can go ahead to give this a good press but ashoke just you know ashoke knows how to obey so everything is just stay in one place so now let's go ahead to fix this other part of the dress so let me show you how to have this fringe like kind of look from your ashoke right i don't know you must have seen ashoke's with this fringe so let me show you how to make this fringe with your ashoke So what you need to do is just just watch the video i don't know how to explain this but if you watch it you're going to get it trust me so this is how to get this fringe from an ash okay and when you are done just cut it off so that the thing doesn't continue to pull when you are done just try to secure it from one end so it does not continue to pull along right now let's go ahead to attach this to our dress so i'm just using one part of the ashoke which is like six inches width and i went ahead to of course that is after the fringe so you can go ahead to do more fringe if you want it shorter just get creative with it right so now you are going to look for the middle of the neckline and attach whatever fabric but here i'm just going to look for the middle right now it's not in the middle because i'm showing you what i want to do so i'm going to look for the middle of this dress and attach this ashoke so if you want to even go wider you want a wider fabric there you can just go ahead to measure if you are using ashoke as well you can just go ahead to attach these into two you just attach these two ashokes together at one point then do the fringe again and attach it together right now so this is two i don't even know which one to use i kind of like it wide so if you want it wider you can go ahead to attach or join two ashokes together and have a wider look and i kind of like the white feel as well i don't know i like the single and i like the wide one so which is your preference which one do you prefer wide or single so just watch this video to the end and see the one i i came out i ended up with eventually so now after going to after fixing that part of the dress i'm going to just go ahead to hem the sleeve then hem the the hem of the dress as well then i'm going to turn this dress right side facing each other and just sew along from the one end of the dress to the end of the dress as well like from the beginning to the hem, from the sleeve to the hem of the dress with half an inch so that's just basically all about the dress right so watch this video today to see the one i ended up with if it was a single or the double ashoke and i would like to know your preference in the comment section please tell me which do you prefer the double or the single